Hey guys, Tux here, and for this particular video we have some Amiibos. Um, and of course working on my collection, and later, before the end of the year, I plan on showing kind of like a, kind of a recap for 2015, exactly where my Amiibo collection's at. I definitely still have some holes. Um, Rosalita, there's a few other ones, some earlier ones, I just don't have. There are ones which, you know, quickly went off the market, I didn't think they were going to go off the market, and then all of a sudden they're like hard to get, and I really refuse to pay like $60 for a $13 Amiibo. But you never know. Someday, maybe. When I was in New York, actually, there was that um, one video store. It was like a mom and pop shop. You can check out the video on my queue. Um, I think it was called L&N. Um, it's in the queue, though. And they had, like, every Enable you can imagine. But they were all so expensive. It kind of broke my heart to think that I'd have to spend that much to get some of these ones I've been looking for. But the good news is, of course, Nintendo has been reissuing some. And with Villager just coming out, my hope is now, once again, renewed that I might be able to get some of these older Enables, which I seen. And I was like, oh, Wii Fit Trainer. I don't want that. Uh -uh. And then, like, a month later, it's like, where the heck is Wii Fit Trainer, you know? So I'm hoping I completing my collection and um, I have to say you know hats off to Nintendo for Nintendo getting a lot of heat in the video game industry oh they're not as powerful as Xbox and blah 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 you know that's that's all true but when it comes down to it they are making bank man I mean think of like if a console costs you know like 250 bucks 300 bucks or whatever and you know the 3DS is selling amazing okay um, still and the new 3DS they have all these people buying another version of it after buying the original 3DS and the XL and limited edition Pokemon one and now new 3DS and now you know Hydral Collection 3DS so it's like they're making so much money off this hardware that they are doing great in my opinion and they have some great games too you know so i mean i love my ps4 i love my xbox one and i have to say that i love my wii u as well you know but the thing that they have that like microsoft doesn't really have and you know sony doesn't have is they're making these figures you know and they're making people are buying them like crazy okay like they are buying you know they're like 10 12 bucks each so you know if you to complete your collection they're releasing like five or six every couple of months or whatever um they're really you know getting a lot of people to buy these and get excited about collecting them and that's really a fantastic thing not just for the industry you know but for nintendo as well hopefully we'll you know breathe some excitement to some of these franchises that maybe we're kind of you know teetering on extinction or not you know um but anyway just you know again hats off to nintendo so for this particular video we're going to talk about two Anibos which are pokemon related okay you guys know i'm super pumped about pokemon go and before i dive into these i have to say that I believe starting today, the day I'm recording this video, and which is Black Friday in the U.S., I believe that the McDonald's uh, Hoopa is available now. So if you need that for your 3DS collection, um, please go to McDonald's. You can get it without eating the food. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to eat the food. Um, you know, you can just go there and on Wi-Fi get it. Maybe even in the parking lot or something, maybe you can get it. You don't need a code. It's just like a public gift off the Wi-Fi. And so you can actually get it quite easily. And, of course, they do have Happy Meal toys, you know. So maybe there is a reason to buy the toys or buy the Happy Meal or whatever. Um, so check it out. I've not seen the toys my, myself yet, but I do want to collect them. So there's a good chance that at some point, maybe I'll do a video going through McDonald's drive through or something, or I don't know, like, uh, at least I'll show the toys later. And if you've already gotten the McDonald's toys, please let me know if the McDonald's Pokemon toys are worth getting or not. In the comments down here, let me know like what you think of them. And if you have a favorite one, let me know what that would be. Okay. All right, fair enough. Okay, so to dive into these Anibos, I'm super excited that these two have came along. This one here, um, I got at a, I believe it was a Toys R Us, and um, I wasn't really expecting to find it. And this isn't like my favorite evolution either. Like, Froki, okay, who would think something this cute, this cute could turn into something devastating like this thing, you know? Um, it's a really pretty aggressive evolution when it comes to Pokemon. Um, it goes from cute to like, kind of like, uh, bad mofo or whatever um, you know he's he's a tough guy so anyway like this is a cool enable to have and in Super Smash Brothers what this enables for um, this guy can you know, definitely do some damage as long as you're playing him right so anyway it's cool that they're releasing more Pokemon like this and then just a few weeks ago um, my case got a little dinged here but I'm gonna open it anyway so it doesn't matter um, Mewtwo like this came out and this I got on a toy haul just like about a week or so ago um, the Saturday before Thanksgiving and so 
I was really f happy to see that there was a lot of these on the shelf. So Nintendo is, again, doing a great job of getting these out to the stores. So if you're looking for either of these two, I would say that, to me, this one here is a little more rare than this one. But, of course, you know, you can't really compete with Mewtwo. That's a fantastic Pokemon, which is a fan favorite. Everyone loves Mewtwo. I would recommend picking up both if you get the opportunity. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and open these Super Smash Brother Anibos. We'll start with uh, Greninja here, and this is definitely very nice retail packaging, as I always say, and as you'd expect from Nintendo. Um, it's my fault, it's a little dinged here. Um, the, we filled the trunk so full of toys, the bags were kind of like, like, dinging things over. So um, I'm gonna have to work on that one. But um, anyway, so, it doesn't really matter because I'm opening them, you know. I Sometimes I will buy two of things. People say, hey, Tux, why do you buy two of things? And largely it's because maybe the second one is to is to trade or to collect. Um, and Lucky Star actually made a great um, analogy about, like, or just response to collecting things in bulk. That basically, you know, one is to keep and open, you know, one is to put in the shelf, and one is to, like, loan out or trade. So having things in twos or three, um, it's not really such a bad thing, you know. Um, it makes sense, especially if, you know, it's a th situation where they have them now and then later you're going to need it, you know. And I will also say that the villager, I do have one of my extra villagers, which I'm giving away in the 1600 subscriber giveaway. So be sure to check out the video for details. But let's go ahead and rip this thing open. I've babbled on long enough. Let's see what this thing is like. If you guys got anything good for Black Friday, let me know. My Black Friday, it kind of came and went. Um, had a great Thanksgiving. I had food. Um, I usually cook. I don't know if you guys know this, but I, I do cook. Um, I've gotten better at it over the years. And um, I wasn't always the best cook, but I love to cook. It's really fun. I guess it's in my blood or something. And um, I usually cook Thanksgiving every single every single year. And I have some strong opinions about how to make stuff right. And, ooh, ouch. <laughs> how to get it, like, perfect. Um, but this year, for the first year in a very long time, I didn't do the cooking. And what we ended up doing was having um, the food kind of catered. Um, uh, it was like a Publix package thing where they... They provide you with the stuffing and everything all pre-made, and I had to work, and so it was an easy way to do this, and it was quite delicious, actually. Um, it's fantastic. I mean, it was like catered food, you know, and it was really good, so it was a great Thanksgiving, and I did buy some Black Friday things um, online. But I can't say what they are because some are Christmas gifts. And I'm really afraid that the secret will get out if I say what they are. So anyway, uh, just truth be told, did I buy some stuff? Yeah, I did buy some stuff. So, all right. Let's pull him out here. My poor little Froakie. Oh, my gosh. From this to this. Oh, my gosh. Um, all right. Ganinja's looking awesome, okay, without a doubt. Very cool pose. I'm loving this. You know, originally I didn't quite connect this. This is tongue, I guess. Um, it looks like a scarf. Correct me if I'm wrong. I guess that is supposed to be his frog tongue. Really long. Pretty crazy. Um, love the ears. A little bendable. Got a great kind of kind of a weird stance, like a frog hop kind of stance going on here. Like he landed like in the dirt. Pretty cool. Um, I do love the way they are using the clear plastic, as you can see there, not the yellowed plastic as a holder. Um, I think it looks very nice, better quality. And just all in all, like a really cool sculpt. You know, I wasn't such a huge fan of this guy before, but you know what, now I am. I think this is an awesome Amiibo. I'm super happy to have it as part of my collection, and I look forward to playing this in Super Smash Brothers. So that is number one. Number two here, of course, is Mewtwo, and everyone loves Mewtwo. Um, that Mewtwo, I play Pokemon Competitive Play, and I have um, there's a promo Mew from back a few years ago, which is just fantastic. Let's see, stack damage, and um, I used to you know have four of those in my deck, and um, it worked really well. I forget the exact attack. I don't want to say the wrong name because it was a promo going back a ways. It's from like the Pokemon League, the official sanctioned Pokemon League. Um, but anyway, so. I am a fan of Mew since the original Pokemon movie and when they first brought him out. Very cool. And I should say Mewtwo, not Mew. I know some people get upset when I call Mewtwo Mew. Alright, so here we go. Got him out of there. Pull this out. And here we are. We got Mewtwo in this great pose. Um, the arms look like they, they should move, but they don't. Um, very cool, very 
Like, he's very into his, what he's doing. He's very concentrating, very into the moment of what is going on for his battle. And it looks like he's got some kind of, like, karate ninja thing, like, kind of thing going on. Um, super big legs, little tail, well, pointy at the end, I should say. Kind of big at the base. Kind of reminds me of, like, a kangaroo or something, where the legs are, like, large like that. But, um, very cool figure. I'm loving it. I cannot wait to add this to my collection to my actual Wii U and play some Super Smash Brothers with this and I, I'll be honest with you guys I am not great at Super Smash Brothers I enjoy playing it but if you guys play me later or something you'll see that um, it's, it's not my best game I do it for fun not for com competition I do play some games competitive like Starcraft um, I'm locally undefeated on the island for Starcraft um, not to say that I'm the best or anything, I'm not. Um, R RTS is like Command and Conquer, some of my favorite games. But anyway, and I have been enjoying uh, World of Warcraft. I've been playing a little bit of that lately. I love MMOs. But you know that I'm going to have to bust open the Wii U and play some of these great new Super Smash Brothers figures. So, anyway guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this video and checking out these amazing new Anibos. If you get a chance to buy these in your local stores, I would totally recommend it. And I hope everyone had a great Black Friday and holiday weekend, okay? I got some great videos coming up for you guys. Of course, the 1600 subscriber giveaway is going on right now until it is uh, January 1st. Okay, lots of chance to win January 1st at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. You can say, enter me, and have a chance to win some cool toys, including the Villager Anibo brand new in package, which is uh, unheard of before. It was a rarity that was reissued. So, um, a great chance to win that Anibo and get some other cool stuff, too, like some Tokidokis and stuff. But you can watch the video for all the exact things. Okay, guys, um, thank you very much for watching. Be sure and check out my Tux Reviews channel. Be sure and check out Tux Toys on Instagram for previews of upcoming videos. And thanks again. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye-bye.